Hello, welcome. My name is Danielle Van Andel. I'm a pelvic floor physiotherapist. In today's video, we are going to talk about vaginismus. So vaginismus is basically the inability to tolerate anything penetrating the vagina. It could be a finger, a penis, a tampon, a speculum, anything. What happens is that the muscles around the vagina reflexively tighten and prevent anything from entering. It may or may not be accompanied by pain, fear, anxiety. It can be primary, which means that it's always been this way, or it can be secondary, which means it appears later on and wasn't an issue initially. With secondary vaginismus, it may or may not be related to a trauma, such as a sexual trauma, a birth trauma, or some other trauma. Vestibulodynia is basically a description of symptoms. If we break the word down, dynia means pain in the. So vestibulodynia means pain in the vestibule. The vestibule is basically the entrance to the vagina. Provoked means that it hurts when touched. So provoked vestibulodynia means pain at the entrance to the vagina when touched. And it generally refers to pain even with light touch. One of the first things is to rule out anything medical. And this will generally be done by your doctor, possibly with referral to a gynecologist. Often the majority of treatment will take place with a pelvic floor physiotherapist, which is a physiotherapist who has extra training in treating things in the pelvis. There's multiple components that will generally make up treatment for vaginismus. A big piece of treatment is education, helping you understand better what is going on. This may include education on the biological processes by which we feel pain, it will often also include education on the pelvic floor muscles, how they function, and the fact that they are an incredibly protective group of muscles. Also may include some treatment geared towards what we call body mapping, which is helping your brain better connect to a particular area of the body. Sometimes we have a disconnect between the brain and a specific area of the body. In this case, the vagina or the pelvic floor muscles. Improving this connection can often be helpful. Another piece of treatment is down training the protective response. This may include braided motor imagery, which is basically a fancy word for imagining something. Sometimes just imagining having sex or inserting something into the vagina will trigger a protective response, which may manifest as tightening of the pelvic floor muscles or pain or thoughts or emotions. The next stage in down training the protective response is what we call graded exposure. So basically we start small and build up. This may start with self-touch, touching the entrance to the vagina or starting to try to insert a finger. It may include dilators, which are progressively larger things that can be inserted into the vagina to gain comfort and work up to a larger size slowly. 
Down training, the protective response may also involve partner touch and kind of testing the edge, which the edge being the difference between what's comfortable and tolerable and where that pain starts or that protective tightening starts. Often physiotherapists will recommend taking penetration off the table for a period of time and focus on doing things that feel good that don't lead to penetration. This can help the brain stop thinking ahead to where is this going to go to, help you to start to actually enjoy some things without worrying about where is this going to end up, and that can contribute to decreasing that protective response as well. Working with a therapist who has significant extra training in sexuality. It may involve working through thoughts, emotions, past experiences, your relationship with your sexuality, and it may or may not include your partner, depending on what is needed. In general, treating vaginismus earlier tends to be easier. The earlier we treat it, the less time there is for things to build up. There's less kind of repeated attempts that are unsuccessful, less impact on relationships, and so it tends to be less complex. Thank you for watching this video on vaginismus. For more information, check out vaginismus.com or talk to your healthcare provider. And please check out some of our other videos at Women's Health Education Made Simple. Thank you.